What is up everybody, Finn here from Double Tap Gamers, and today I am playing a game which I've been really, really excited about. It is Trove. Now the Humble Bundle has it on there. You can pay it for one dollar, you could donate to charity, whatever way you wish to do it. But I have managed to get Trove, and I know it's a free weekend at the moment. Probably not by the time you watch this video, but Trove is an open world foxhole, kind of a role-playing type of game. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of cover the basics and just kind of go over it, give you my first impressions, my thoughts and everything else in between. Now, I really like this game. I like the look, I like how it works, and I like pretty much the ins and outs. It's not a bad game. At the moment, I am in a community hub, the little hub town, where you can see people are actually building to the sky, because the sky is your limit. So, this is kind of where everyone gathers. Now, there's a pumpkin over there, and that is to do with the Halloween event, which is ongoing at the moment. Unfortunately, the frames in <laughs> here kind of drop for some reason since I started using the recording, which, <clears throat> not too bad, because we could still kind of see it and walk around. And, wow, what the hell is that? That is crazy. Now, this game allows you to build. You've got to go and get all your resources, and you have the different classes to choose from. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the class changer, and just show you a bit around town, first of all. And what I've kind of gathered. These all these people jumping around on these pumpkins. <laughs> They're great. So, this is the trading post, basically, where you can trade with other players. Over, hey, he's got a cheeseburger on his head. Awesome. Over here, this is the rejuvenation station, and this allows you to fill up your flasks, allow you to heal yourself by pressing the Q button. This is the community chest. Now, I believe in the community chest, this is my inventory at the moment. The community chest allows you to put stuff in, and people in the community can come and take it, I would presume. The barber shop is where you would come to basically customize your look, because when you start, you start as a woman. There is a barber shop right at the beginning. Some people kind of tend to miss it and walk past. What the hell is that? I do not know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll just shoot it along the way. <clears throat> so that is the barber shop. There is a ghost train at the moment, which you can use a thing called a mag rider to ride around on it. And the mag rider is kind of your transport in the game. It is your mount system. People bouncing around, and you have little quirky little pets, just like so. And what you could do also, you can come over here and you can use the class changer. And it's simple as simple as pressing A. Now, there at the moment is five classes. You have the knight, which is free. You have the gunslinger, which I'm playing as. You have the Fae Trickster, the Dracolite, which is also free, and the Neon Ninja. Now, the Neon Ninja and the Fae Trickster requires you to actually either buy it using credits, which can be obtained. So you can buy that from the store. Kind of pay to play kind of thing. Or you can just play the game in general and you will get a thing called Cubits. So each one of these classes is 5,000 Cubits. So you can eventually buy both of them. You just gotta play. And the Cubits in the top right. The more you play it, the more that bar goes up, and you get 300 cubits once that's filled, which isn't too bad. And you get daily bonuses, and it seems to be a football. Yeah! Not bad, not bad at all. So, <clears throat> let's go into the world anyhow, and let's show you the bits above. So like I say, I'm pressing, not pressing, I am actually playing as a gunslinger right now. So if I press C, you can see at the moment I am a level 6 gunslinger. I played quite a lot last night with my wife, <clears throat> as well as my other friend Unreal God. And my other friend off the map. So there's quite a few of us playing. So if you want to see more of this footage and more of us playing it, by all means, post in the comments below and hit that like button. And we will sort this out because I really, really like playing this game. So at the moment we have Lucky Shot, which is our standard attack. <coughs> Charge Shot is our right mouse button. Blast Jump is one and Running Gun is number two. So it's pretty straightforward. You have your items which you've equipped. And these underneath are the styles. And the styles... Well, there's a lot of styles. If I just press I on the keyboard, you can see all the different ins and outs. And these are all the different styles which you can collect. Now, once you basically select the style and save it, it'll save completely. Now, I don't know whether that FPS at the top is actually accurate because my, my program's telling me otherwise. So let's hit A anyways. Let's jump into the world. Boom, the journey begins. So this is the world. Now let's go and take a look at the plots. Now, plots. Cornerstones are out of the world. We're going to have to find one now. This is where you would start. This is the level 1 to 3 adventure area. Now I've came here just because I'll not get as bothered as much as the other place, and I'll probably die in the other place to start off. So, you can come to here and you would start exploring, you would get items, and you would go and find a cornerstone. Now the cornerstone is basically, it's your house. You can only build in that cornerstone, you can build up and you can build down. Get out of here, mate. Boom, I love how they explode. So. You can build in the cornerstone, up or down on the ground, but you cannot expand. If you expand, other people can then blow it up, as well as creatures. Now, what you want to do is you want to kind of stay in the grid. You can build anything in the world, that's not a problem, but people will resource it. So, let's see if I can find a corner plot. 
No, it's got a great mechanic as well. If you press shift on the middle mouse button, you can actually dodge out of the way. We hit, just like so. Got a charge shot, mate. Get out of here. Awesome. Awesome times. So that is somebody else's corner zone, and I will tell you. I'm just going around killing some people right now. So this will tell you who actually owns this corner plot. So this is, at, at the moment, Cornerstone is owned by Dopefish. So there you have it. Dopefish. Now another great thing about this game as well, which I really liked, is the fact that all the items in the game seem to be created by the community themselves. So I haven't actually had a look into that yet, but I will definitely have a look. So you can build these items, and if they get approved, they will get put into the game. Now the game is, like I say, it's an open world, so let's take a look at the map. All them little X's at the moment, they are dungeons which have already been cleared. Now they're reset constantly. I think I... I don't know if it's on an hourly basis or it's it's a daily basis, I'm not 100% sure. I still need to do a little bit of research on that, but I know once they've got a big X, that means someone's already raided it. And that is a dungeon. And all them other names are other people in the world right now. So, there's multiple instances, it's all online, there's no single player aspect to the game. And that's a good thing, because you do come across people and you do get to meet people and actually have a good time. I met a guy last night called Bear, and it was quite fun, he showed me some of the ins and outs. And as you can see, it's a guy down there at the moment. And he is currently building his world, and we're going to have a look at the building in a second. I am just trying to get a cornerstone, which I can't seem to find one right now. Let's kill this guy, dude. Let's use my charge shot. There we go. So it seems that all the cornerstones right now are taken. There will be one unoccupied, we just got to find it. Until I get the actual mount system, it's going to be a bit slow at walking. Do bear with me, we will find it. So we're now in the deep forest. It's quite nice, I love the way the, the whole world looks. So, while we're actually exploring, well, let's have a look at the building system anyhow. So, what you do in the game is you would press tab, and you would go outline like this, and this is where you get your building blocks. Now, it's pretty straightforward to be fair, if you hold down right click, you'll get a beam, and you'll suck them blocks up and you'll collect them for later use. And there's a plot over there. Is this occupied? No, it's not. Awesome, so, how the cornerstones work? Uh, that sounds like a trove knight just coming straight in. I believe the trove knights, yes, yeah, dropping into the world. Now these are kind of like mini world bosses that just drop in, and you gotta kind of take them out. Not too bad for me. Let me be level 6, there we goes. So these drop loot. So the cornerstones. Now, the thing which I love about this game most of all is you build inside these plots, and you can take these plots anywhere. Now you don't have to rebuild or kind of constantly shift it around. All you basically do is you come to the cornerstone and you hit eight. And voila! It builds the house which you previously had. Now I done some work last night. I'm still trying to get the place to look a bit nice. But this is kind of this this is my little place. Welcome to my house, guys. Welcome to my house. So, let's go in. So what I've created at the moment, I created the hub portal, and that'll take me back to the hub world, which you saw at the beginning of the video. And Bear is actually on. Hi, Bear. And these things, which is a little skull, and we have a glass bear, which we found, and we got little bits of bobs, which I've put in just for decoration. So we can actually fill in with flask, which is on a barrel, and I thought that was a nice touch. Now, what you could do inside the game, you get your personal chests, and you have all these different things. So you build these stop by stop. What you would do is you would get a generic plot, I've taped mine all down and rebuilt on top of it, but you would get a crafting table. Now if you press E on the crafting table, you would have a thing like a hub portal, a deconstructor, forge, workbench. On top of a workbench you would have a cube converter and a personal chest. So you would have to basically go through all of them and get the different bits and bobs. Now it's a pretty cool thing about it, because you can deconstruct items or resources, you can make on the workbench it's a bit slow at loading up, and I think it's because of all the different items. You can make all these kind of nice little, they serve no purpose to be fair, but kind of aesthetic items to decorate your places. The forge allows you to upgrade your weapons. Over here we have a thing called a style saver, and what you can do with the style saver is, I don't actually have anything which is a style right now, what you would do is you put a style in there and you would save it, you would destroy the item, so never destroy a style or an item which which has good stats. You only want it once you've used it and you've had use of it, you want to then destroy it to be able to save it. And the cube converter allows you to build all the different color blocks in the game. I'll just quickly, re I think it, it will be forward slash reply. Oh, there's Bear, I'll just quickly um, tell Bear. Hey Bear, I'm currently <laughs> recording. <laughs> so there you go. 
So our new friend Bear. He is actually playing as a Neon Ninja. So, you can get all these little different bits and bobs within this game. And it's pretty nice. So, so you can build all the way up and you can build all the way down. Which is pretty damn good. And it's really fun. It's really smooth. Now, what you can do is you can put down these portals as well to the journey. <laughs> I'm pretty much sidetracked out. So, you would take this all down, you would build it, and that's what I really like about the game. Now, if you wanted to go and do dungeons, dungeons are dotted about all over the world. Now, if a dungeon is actually being cleared out, it will have a massive X above its head. Let's just kill that guy. So, it would have a massive X above the whole entire tower, let you know that it has been cleared out, but there is quite a lot in the world to basically go and overcover, uncover, that's the word, and basically take it out. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So like I say, you would see these blocks going around in the world anyways, which you would resource. And these all help towards your crafting. So the game overall, guys, I really, really do like the game. I think it is a blast. It's really, really fun. And it's quite nice to see what you can actually build in the block assets. So if you want to see more of this game, by all means, post in the comments, hit that like button. I would be happy to do a series on this for you all. And we could try out one of the new classes. So, until then, I will see you next time. I'm going to get back to building. I really am. So, take it easy, guys. This has been Trove. I love the game. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I did get a bit sidetracked. But I think we covered most of the basics of the game. It is pretty much go around killing things, doing dungeons, teaming up, having fun, and building along the way. So, until then, I'm going to take my little, little bear. Well, it looks like Bane, doesn't it? It does look like Bane. I'm going to take my Bane face anyways, and I'm going to do a dungeon. Till then, see you later, guys. Take it easy. Begins again.